Today we are going to find out what icon is the best. And we are deciding this through icon imperialism. 20 of the best icons on FC24 has been given their own land on this map. And in game each icon will be represented by last year's Premier League table. The number one icon is Pele. So he have been transferred to Manchester City. Zidane is playing for Arsenal and so on. You get the point. We are playing by classic imperialism rules. Each round I will spin this wheel to decide what icon is going to attack. And this arrow will decide what direction the attack will be. The winning icon will conquer the other icon's land. We will be repeating this process until one icon remains here we go our first icon is going to be r9 and r9 is heading west a matchup between two of the best strikers in history r9 had his chances but so did marco van basten the second half started off with a crazy goal van basten on the volley and he scores what a goal but r9 equalized right after and then van basten did this what a goal van basten actually has a chance at beating r9 right now and van basten has won marco has erased r9 from the map and our first round of icon imperialism is done let's see who the second player is going to be Johan Cruyff and he will also be going west and there we find Ronaldinho both players are capable of winning this whole thing but one of them is getting knocked out in this round Cruyff started off with a bang and Cruyff is up 1-0 Ronaldinho had a lot of chances Ronaldinho crossbar rebound so close and Onana wanted to help Cruyff Cruyff on the rebound and it goes in! Ronaldinho had one last chance to turn this around. But he failed. United and Cruyff has won the game. And Cruyff has conquered Ronaldinho's land and erased him from the map. We have already lost two of the best players in this game. And let me know down below what icon you think is going to win this challenge. In round three, two of the best center forwards of all time went head to head. Pushkas headed east to take on Eusebio in icon imperialism. And Pushkas scored a skill goal. That with the worst goalkeeping I've seen so far. But a goal is a goal. Pushkas went forward again and banged in 2-0. Eusebio was close. But then Pushkas Pushkas goalie decided to disrespect Eusebio and did this. Eusebio had enough and the comeback was on. But Pushkas killed all hope for Eusebio and banged in two more goals. To end the game 5-1. Yet another icon was erased from the land. And Pushkas got to expand his empire. And next icon is going to be... Rud Hulit. And what direction is he heading? Southeast. It is Hulit against George Best. Even though Hulit is the lowest rated player on this map, due to his insanely balanced card, I think he is one of the favorites to win this challenge. George Best dominated the first half. George Best! Oh, he has to score this. No. Deep into the second half, Pilit finally showed up. Pilit has scored. It is 1 0. But George Best were not giving up just yet. Last chance to equalize. And he's missed it. Rud Hulit have beat George Best in round 4 of Icon Imperialism. And Best is a race from the map. Our next icon is Thierry Henry. And he is heading northwest to play against Pushkas. Pushkas continued his form from last game and scored the first goal. Henry had enough chances. But Pushkas got a lot of help from his goalie. Thierry Henry did not manage to find the back of the net before the referee blew the whistle. Pushkas managed to win yet another game and got to expand his territory even more. The former Arsenal striker now representing Chelsea is now a race from the map. Next up is the second top scorer for Germany of all time. Gareth Müller. And his only neighboring icon is Bobby Charlton. So Gareth Müller headed north. Bobby Charlton really dominated the start of this game. And I mean dominated. He had a lot of chances. But that doesn't matter if he can't score. Müller tried some long shots. But with 8 seconds left of the game he got the opportunity to end it. And the keeper has saved it. So we headed into golden goal. Müller got the first big chance. But this time he didn't miss. And Gareth Müller has won it. The legend Bobby Charlton is now a race from the map. And Müller is expanding his empire. It was finally time for the number one player in the game, Pele. And what direction is he heading? Northeast. To play against his Brazilian teammate, Carlos Alberto. Alberto hits the post. The rebound. And he scores. Carlos Alberto is surprisingly up 1-0 to Pele. But Pele equalized right away. And he went up 2-1. But Carlos Alberto wanted to show that defenders can win this challenge as well. So he equalized to make it 2-2. But Pele went all out attack and scored his third goal of icon imperialism. Can he score now? Yes, he has done it. And that is game. Pele got the best of his former teammate. And Carlos Alberto is knocked out of icon imperialism. The next attacker is going to be Garincha. And he is heading northeast to play against Roberto Baggio. This is going to be a battle of the five-star skillers. Garincha started off with a mocking finish. But he missed. Baggio wanted to copy him, but he missed as well. Emi Martinez went attacking and set up Garincha to attack. Garincha is through on goal. And he has scored. He scored in the last seconds of the game. Baggio had his chance to equalize. But he failed. Garincha won the battle of the five star skillers and unfortunately roberto baggio has to leave icon imperialism the king of football were ready for another round but this time he was heading southwest to play against van boston the king started off with some bad finishing ah so close from pele but then he got lucky with a bad keeper and pele went off one nil van boston hits the crossbar the rebound and it's the crossbar again van boston got really unlucky with his crossbar hits in this game but when pele showed up with this finish van boston lost his hope and to finish it off pele banged in two more goals the king of football takes revenge for 
Arline and knocks out one Bastion of Icon Imperialism. Garincha got ready for another round. And now we headed east to play against Zidane, now representing Arsenal. This was going to be a crazy matchup between a midfielder and a winger. Zidane continued the trend of hitting crossbars. Garincha got a pass from his goalie and did this. Garincha with his left foot. Oh, what a finish! Zidane against Olsen. And Zidane is ice cold. It is 1 1. Can Garincha score again? And he does. 2 1 to the Brazilians. Zidane tried a cheeky finish. And he got a rebound, but messed it up big. And time's up. Garincha got the best of Zidane and Ramsdale. Zidane is a race from the man. Garincha's empire started to get big. And next up, we got Siku. And what direction is he headed? North. And there is Baresi located. A battle between a defender and a midfielder. Let's find out how it went. Siku scored a crazy skill goal. And Pickford almost scored a banger. Siku is through on goal again. And he scores another one. 2 0. Baresi. What is that? Siku scored one more. And Baresi finally got his goal. But that was far from enough. And Siku went out victorious. Baresi is now a race from the map by Siku. The defenders are really at a disadvantage here. They can't finish at all. In round 12, we got a battle between defenders. We got Kafu attacking south, where Maldini is located. One of the best. Best right backs against one of the best center backs of all time. Cafu hit inside the post but still didn't score. Maldini tried his luck with a long shot. Maldini and he banks it top left corner. And that was enough for Maldini to win round 12 of Icon Imperialism. There is now only 8 icons left on the wheel. And next up we got Gareth Müller. There's only one option for him to attack and that is Pushkas. The game had a weak start to literally. Pushkas got really close at the start of the second half. The rebound he's missed it. Müller takes the shot and it goes in. 1-0. Pushkas was really close again. Pushkas he finally gets the goal. 1-1. One, one. Müller's keeper took the chance and went forward. Flecken. And he scored. No way. Müller takes the shot. Crossbar. Rebound. Surely. And he hits the crossbar again. Müller can finish the game right there. No. Time's up. And Gerd Müller takes the win. Pushkas has had a really nice run. But now he is removed from the map. Gerd Müller has a huge piece of land now. We're in round 40 now. And it's again Siko's turn to attack. What direction is he heading? Northeast. Siko versus Hulit. Siko takes the shot. Oh, Zico again. Hulit went full power and went up 1-0. And Zico tried this crazy backflip finish. Hulit against the goalie. Yes. 2-0. Zico scored one goal with 18 seconds left on the clock. But it wasn't enough and Hulit got to conquer his land. Zico's journey in Icon Imperialism has come to an end. In round 15, we're getting an ultimate test between attack and defense. Because Garincha is going to attack east, where we find Maldini. This game was a close one. Neither managed to score a goal for some time. But in the last seconds, this happened. Two seconds left, Garincha is through a goal and he scores! He's done it in the last second of the game! Garincha adds another win to his collection. And the attackers goes out on top. Maldini were the last defender standing, but now he's also erased. Five players left on the wheel and Hulit is up again and he is attacking Southwest and Garincha. Garincha has played a lot of games. He really deserves to win this challenge. Yet another crossbar hit in Icon Imperialism. Garincha shows some disappointing finishing. Garincha, what is that? Crossbar, the rebound, it's a goal. 1-0. Two seconds left, Hulit. The keeper has saved it. A great run by Hulit, but it has come to an end. Garincha gets to advance to another round. He is unstoppable. The next icon is going to be Gerd Müller. And he is going northwest to Johan Cruyff. Cruyff to run goal. What? Müller shoots. Nice save by Onana. 30 seconds left on the clock. Cruyff takes the shot. And it goes in. Cruyff is up 1-0. And time's up. It is time for Gareth Müller to be erased from the map. A huge win for Johan Cruyff. Müller owned a lot of land. We are now down to only three players. And the competition is heating up. The three players left are no surprise though. Pelé, Cruyff and Garincha are class players. And Cruyff is going to attack again. But this time he is headed east to play against Pelé. Garincha is now guaranteed to play in the last round of Icon Imperialism. Truly deserved. It is Pelé versus Cruyff. City versus United. Cruyff against Ortega. And it's 1-0 Ready. Pele headed to attack, but he failed. Cruyff again. It's the crossbar, of course. Ortega is headed forward, and he has scored. Ortega has stepped up when Pele has failed to score. But Cruyff scored right away. Cruyff with the Trivella, and it's a goal. 3-1. But Pele wanted a comeback. He scored one more goal, and the score was 3-2. But then Cruyff did this. 4-2 it is. Pele got revenge right away and was looking for the equalizer. Pele is through on goal, and he has done it. Pele has equalized. What a game. Johan Cruyff got to attack one more time. He has scored, and he has no out Pele of Icon Imperialism. We say bye to Pele and Yuan Cruyff is ready for the final against Garincha. But what a crazy game we got to witness. We're in round 19, the final game. It is Aston Villa against Man United. It is Garincha against Cruyff. Garincha shoots. The rebound, volley. 1-0 one to Garincha. Cruyff. Nice save from Olsen. Maybe a bicycle? No. Cruyff. He finally gets his goal. 1-1. One, one. Cruyff didn't get to celebrate for long. Garincha is attacking again. And he scores. Cruyff. What a performance by Olsen. What is that, Cruyff? After a crazy performance, Olsen finally messed up. 2-2 it is. Garincha. 
No way! Unana is just like in real life. Garincha is in the lead again. And Unana messed up again. Garincha on the long shot. Unana, no! It is over the line. 4-2. Great save. It's a crossbar again. And that's time. Garincha has done it. He's the champion of Icon Imperialism 1v1 edition. He's now conquered the entire map. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to, you can also check out some other videos that I made.